bought food and everything because I didn't have no account. And then it has, they used to allow me to do that. And guess what? The record will show, you know, the deposit of checks from the city of Oakland. They show because it deposited and where the check came, it sure has the amount. So if just for those two years, if I just spent $24,000, $900 or something on a tax thing for my house, but I didn't put 30 something thousand dollars in the account just from that same house in the last two, you know, years or so. Nobody would say that you're stealing from the believers unless they are stupid. Right? And then they said, you can't mix up your personal money. I said, when I pay all of y'all bills out here and put all this $35,000 in your account and another $22,900 and something dollars for a, a grass cutting bill, you know, they just let it build up. And then they hand me the bill. They could have took care of it. I asked them to try to take care of that bill. He didn't take care of it and it doubles. Then it quadruples, and then they said, you got a bill. You can pay it, and, and I go down there and they said, no, you ain't nothing you can do about it, because it's Mukhtar and the government is working hand in hand together. That ain't nothing. In spite of Steve Emerson, Sean Hannity, Daniel Pipes, NSA, FBI, Homeland Security, and a host of other clowns, Masjid al-Islam in East Oakland is the only independent masjid that stands for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala against American Zionism. That was 2014, February 2nd. That was true then and it's true now. Who stands up against American Zionism? In America. Who demonstrates? Who even mentions it? I haven't even heard the bombers mention nothing about what's the old bomber's name in Saudi Arabia? MBA. MBA. Is this new? Is this a new phenomenon? Absolutely not. This is 1999. You probably remember these when people used to demonstrate a little. <laughs> this is what we called it, right? Rally against constitutional dictatorship. And this is what we tell them that they're doing. Domestic covert action against Muslims, secret evidence, da 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 da, roving wiretaps, infiltration of masjid and centers, psychological warfare, harassment through the legal system, all kind of stuff. We told them the, <clears throat> that's 99, but we told them in 79 the same thing, in 89 the same thing. Demonstrations stand up for justice. This is around the same period. Stand up for justice. Stand up for yourself. Protect yourself. Oh Allah, please protect my father. I don't know if you remember that, that one. Mm -hmm. When we go to South Africa telling the people who Sam is, they so mad they don't want to let me come back in the country for two days. Again, psychological guerrilla warfare has worked. This is what we're saying. This is clear, okay? Who would be mad at that? Who would be mad at that? What's, what's the problem? The only people who would be mad at that is Zionist Negroes and pro-Zionist Arabs. 12, 20, 13. Repeat of COINTEL program, okay, 1227. Beating Imam Musa's son with a stick at Juma during son recovery from a stroke. Mukhtar and Khadijah played several of these episodes on YouTube. What would be the purpose of something like that? Is that Islamic behavior? Is it, is there any, we've got to look for Islamic process now. 
And we got to look at the other Muslims. While all of this is going on, what about all the people who gave Baya in Oakland and here and other cities around the country? Everybody is seeing this, and it's basically all right. It ain't no big deal. One January uh, break in of Imam Musa's house, 25,000 started to shift it, but I'd sound like a fool if I said that. Because, you know, you used, used to hide money. All record notes and receipts documenting Oakland branches financial transaction are stolen. Copiers, duplicators, computers, all gone. All the, the CDs and DVDs all of my tafsir of Quran. It had to be them because they were the only ones who would know what to take. And who's gonna go break in the back of your house and you can't get back there unless one of your family members let them back there. You can't just go back and forth carrying boxes and all of that. Okay. And then Mukhtar goes to the Secretary of State's office and falsify records. Okay, January 2014, another 25 DVD duplicators, da, 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 da. four flats on cars, we have a program at the masjid, and whoop, there's the van with four flats on it. See right there, four flats. Now, why do I know Mukhtar did it? It's because when I walk around the corner, the masjid, where this is, this is right around, this is the masjid right back there, and this park next to the masjid. And when I walk around the side of the masjid, Mukhtar is leaving, but he didn't cut all the tires. The last one he cut, Sideways, the, you can see the van going going down, and there he is walking. But you got now. You got to remember now. This this we're at a war. What's the goal in this war? It's to make you mad. All this stuff is to make you mad. That ain't nothing. After I go get four new tires, there's another pop right there. When I park the car over. Uh, at, at my other place, no problem. There's, they're on flats too. That's to irritate you and to make you mad. It would irritate anybody else, right? Definitely. It would irritate anybody. It didn't irritate me. Probably right, because that's part of the war. Expectations. If we're having all of this influence around the world, and don't forget, this is after we making all the forecasts about it won't be no Arab Spring. This is three years after that. And we telling them what's gonna happen. By 2014, what we told them in 2011 is happening. Can you imagine how mad they are? Ain't nobody said it. There's no reason in the world for what we said in 2011. It won't be no Arab Spring, but this is a systematic way it's going to develop. If it's a little cold, you can turn the air on if you like. Yeah, no, if, you, if it's a little chilly, you can turn it on. I don't want to freeze nobody out. We just, this is the knock, the, 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 what's the name out? I mean, we're not stingy or nothing. <laughs> When something happened the, down the street, and I tell them, this is right in front of our mic, Mukhtar had shot the dogs. It's a long story. He didn't shot dogs. They didn't came and got me after Juma. I'm uh, serving the food. No, no. Straight huh? up, straight up, straight up. Other way, other way. There you like go. Like that? Mm -hmm. Anyway, there's the police. This is our center. You can see the sign if you can see it right there in the corner. My student of Islam education. But guess what they do? I come down there, and all of this stuff is going on. So I send one of my friends, one of my son's friends, go and get my briefcase. The briefcase have all the paperwork. 
fact, it has the deeds to all the property right around there. So, the shooting, they done shot the dogs, Muktar and the Midi shooting the dogs, and so Khadijah's going in and out. They done left the so-called crime scene, no tape or nothing. So everybody's going out. So it's contaminating the, the crime scene. I'm saying, hey man, you can't do that. You're contaminating. So I tell her, you can't go in there. So the police tell me, yeah, she can go in there. I said, I'm the owner of this property. It's all alone. She says, no. They say that they have a piece of paper. Do you know what the, the lady called it? A computer generated that she called it. That they type something up, printed it out on the computer and signed it, and they used that to do anything they wanted to do, and the police accepted it. And I'm showing the police the Articles of Incorporation, right, from 1981. I'm showing them literally everything. And in recent times, I'm even showing them uh, what we got here. This right here is uh, I showed y'all 2014. Uh, that's the telephone thing, if y'all remember. That's 2013. That's 2013 from the housing, you know, and at that time they put 15,000, 2013, 15,000, so that's $30,000. He said I stole money from him. That is 2014. Okay, so It's not only they, uh, they put me in, uh, uh, you can see I'm in the back of the police car. I tell them, this is our place right here. She says, no, we don't want you going. She said that you can't, I said, she said she don't have nothing to do with this. So whatever they said, they take their word. Whenever they got hold of them, they just take their word. This is the same thing, and this is an arrest for uh, uh, 9-2-14, September the 2nd, when they took me to jail. Now, I would post everything and stick it up on them if I spent any money. This is uh, Alameda County Office of Collector from Clarence Reams uh, to the County of Alameda. That's $22,901. That's from My Stylist Farm Incorporated. That's from Bank of America. It's a cashier's check for the money they owe. Remember when I was in Vegas, Las Vegas, what, I'm just getting on the plane. Well, you'll be over here and you'll be quiet. I said, you, you must be stupid. So they can tell me anything they want. And they'll take me to jail for it. Uh, your payment is overdue for water. So I paid $538. This is 3 1914. When I pay all the bills, I don't know what Mukhtar do, but when I come back here, he turns on all the water and then there's a turnoff bill like that. So, another $538. This happens all the time. Council program, death threats. This looks like October 15, 2015. I just put that on the door. I said, why? They come running and they called you yeah. down and hollered down. 
you know, if you're a little older and you holler at somebody, you're at the top of the hill, they holler way down there, you can't run up and catch them because you got to run up hill. <laughs> so they, <laughs> and you're 69, 70 years old, so it ain't going to work. So I just keep on going, mind my own business. This is John George, the psychiatric uh, ward. The police just uh, in front of my house one morning, and then they pull off and speed off, and I happen to be going that way. I just pull on off behind them. Then there's a, uh, they didn't put this in the report, but there's a speed bump, a new speed bump. If I'm in the 1600 block, there's a brand new speed bump at 1738. I went by. So I pulled up on them because I didn't uh, know they was going to stop because it's a new speed bump. Although I've been living there 70 years, 60 years, something like that. But it's, an, I have, you know, I'm here. I may be here six months or a year. New speed bump. They said you, you're a threat to us and you're a threat to yourself. So we're going to send you to, the, they call it John George Psychiatric. So the police tells me, yeah, we're gonna, you're going to go see John George. Now, they can't arrest me, but if I'm a psychological, they call it 5150 out there. If you're a threat to yourself or the environment, then they can restrain you and send you to the crazy house for until you evaluate it. That's what they did. <laughs> So I first go to San Leandro Hospital, then I go to the psychiatric, they tell me, you're going to John George. I said, John George is dead. John George was one of the first black councilmen in the area, you know, he, way back. I knew him. He was back in the 70s, technically back in the 60s and the 50s, but I know him very well for the 60s. 